What's up, guys? Retro Ugh. What's up, guys? Retro Gamer here, and I got a fistful of Zelda and Fate. Oh. What? No. What's up, guys? Retro Gamer here, and I got a mouthful of Zelda and a fistful of Hot Pocket. Wait, what? Um, it was a, a fistful of Zelda and a mouthful of Hot Pockets. Alright, so right here, we are in the Forsaken Fortress. Which some consider to be the first dungeon. I don't consider it to be any dungeon at all. Because it doesn't really feel like a dungeon to me. Well, it doesn't feel like a dungeon until later on. Take Do with that what you will. And I got caught already. Does, does Retro Gamer know what he's doing? Yep, he totally does. He gets caught in the first five seconds. And no, I don't want to talk to you, Tetra. No. No, leave me alone. Darn it. Come on, what are you doing? If you start wandering around this place, well, guard it as that without any means of descent. Blah, 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 what? You're bound to get caught. At least you should see if there's anything nearby you can use to hide yourself in. Think stealth. See what you can find around there and be quick about it. Time is short. Yes, time is short. I got mate deadlines. I don't want to edit like 30 minute long videos. Just kidding. I, I know people don't have time for like uh, 25 minute videos to watch. So I make mine short. Short and sweet. That's why I call them. They're short and sweeties. But anyway, so yeah, we're going to have to do some Metal Gear Solid stuff. You know, Metal Gear. Hiding and stuff. Where is the barrel? Okay. Okay, calm down. Calm. Oh, wait. We're on the second floor. We need, we need no barrels. I totally know what I'm doing, guys. I totally know what I'm doing. I remember this, this part is just... This reminds me of back in the day when I got... <laughs> first got my GameCube. And I played the demo of this game so much. And I tried... I sucked at this part. This was like my worst part ever. I couldn't do it. Like, it was bad. And, um, you guys can't see this right now, but the map is on the gamepad. So I can see it from that. And it's showing me, like, it's showing me some compass functionality. And stop, stop, cutscene, stop. Stop it right now. Like a dog who just peed in their cage you yell no no and you give them you point the finger at them to say no no tetra it's just a whole bunch of no's oh god what am i chugga conray <laughs> oh my god chugga if you watch this i'm sorry i like i like i like to be kind of an, a jerk like shoot i almost dropped the f-bomb earlier <laughs> with tetra that was just ridiculous. Um, wait, what? You swing with A. I threw it with B. But um, yeah, you get pair. Uh, I can't even explain the whole thing of that fight, and I just murdered him. But up uh, anyway, those sticks you pick up whenever you go fight these guys. You can pick them up from the jar, or you can use your shield to defend and knock it out of the dude's hands. It takes like five seconds, and let's see. I'm gonna look over here, and it is this guy. This guy you definitely want to take out because he's gonna get in the way later on when you're trying to climb up the thing. Because I can't remember what the call. Shut up, Tetra. Um. Anyway, let's get down here. Let's let's actually find the way to go. Because I am lost right now that's amazing getting lost already that's this pretty much the most amazing thing you could do um hold on i'm gonna cut right here and i'm gonna come back when i find the right way to go <laughs> all right now that we're back in this room what you gotta do is go right and then go up i knew i missed something and i did not want to try to do sidle with that searchlight just beaming right in my face i mean she's it was better you don't want to be like stuck barreling around because barrels don't even roll in this game that was a terrible joke just cut it all out just cut it out um you want to use the shield right here now you could knock it out of his hand 
on the first try with one block I do believe just hit hit me oh wait what did they change it did they what what's okay I was about to say it don't take that long and then he just threw it all the way up in the air just stupid idiot where where's the stick what'd you do with the stick okay here's some pots over here don't don't you dare stop it stop get away from me get away from me get away from me I'm gonna get mad I'm gonna do I'm gonna do nothing when I get mad I get, I get angry I do nothing but I'm gonna hit you with the stick and wait for you to die jeez man you're just taking it how much more can you take but um throw that over there because we don't need that and now we got that thing done so let's actually go save the sister and um <laughs> I don't know where I want to stop off this video but I'm telling you it might be longer than the others because I I got I clocked out there <laughs> I clocked out like five minutes ago when I started this video <laughs> but anyway we're gonna need to go through this door right here I would pick up some treasures but I don't really feel like it yes because why pick up treasures in a Zelda game? That's not what they're for. They're decorations. I don't know how you guys been playing Zelda. But I just walk around the treasures. And I'm just like, they're in my way. So let's go through here. Alright. There's one more sp searchlight. But I'm pretty sure it's not in the way. I'm pretty sure. And watch it be in the way. And I have to cut all the way back. That will be the funniest thing ever. It, it'll be like I would love it forever. You know what? Hold on. Stop it with the cutscenes. I think I put this down as a shortcut. But I'm pretty sure that was pretty much the useless thing ever to do. Unless you get caught stupidly, like I will probably. And just sit there and look like an idiot. Yep, here we go. Ready? You ready for some Metal Gear uh, cardboard box action? It's ready for it. Just nice cardboard box action. Gonna go through here. Wait, is he going up the steps? Okay, I was about to say, you better not go up the steps, sir. You did not do that last time, sir. I would be very disappointed in you, sir. So, um, yeah, let's go through this door. See, this is really easy stuff. And. I don't know how I got caught the first time. It's really shameful. Wait, I know how I got caught. This comes from the guy who died on the first boss of Earthbound on video. Like, what? How? Well, the second boss. The first real boss you can fight. Anyway, let's get back to Zelda. We're not playing Earthbound right now. We're playing it later on tonight and then recording it. We're recording it, of course. Gonna be quiet. Go an inch inch our way go an inch oh, be careful he's always getting me with that Just, there we go I don't think we're gonna need that barrel but if we do it'll be my fault um yeah let's keep on going up the mountain going up fire mountain and we're gonna sidle right here and if you thought this wasn't metal gear then you are wrong this is the legend of Metal Gear Wind Waker with with Zelda elements. <laughs> I don't know. That joke went nowhere. Cut that out too. Just cut cut the whole video. We're gonna redo it again. This is not this the uncut. This director's cut addiction addition addiction. Yes, yeah. cut addiction. That's really nice for the kids. That's not nice. <laughs> but anyway. We haven't actually had a real fight. And you know, going through this whole, like, first, like, how many? 30 minutes of the game, I have not been hit once. So much for hero mode, showing this ugly face. But, uh, there's our sword. I love that dance. I love that dance so much. But he has a better sword. You got your hero sword again. He said, take care not to drop it again. Sword, you can... Alright. And then we're going to beat him up with his own sword. That throw it at him. That was amazing. But, um, 
Anyway. Let's go through that door. Hopefully save our sister. Because, you know, we made an assumption that seagulls are here. So, sister must be here. Plus bird. So, logic equals true. It's not like the bird dropped her or what, like dropped her down anywhere. Or, like, ate her. No, that wouldn't make sense. Oh, look. It is my sister. And a moody looking girl. What was she, Raven? That face. <laughs> Can't tell if clear or suddenly bird. You know, you had the chance right there. You could have just freed your sister. But now we're, we're turkey chow. Well, she got kidnapped and sent here. Where are we gonna go? I mean, we're already here. Unless you like to fly up and then fly back down. Like, uh, you know, warping in Zelda games sometimes. But, um, I'm referring to Ocarina of Time. It's like you warp from one place and then warp to that same place. You go right back to where you were. But anyway, uh, who's that fat guy? You look... Why are you so fat, bro? Oh, what's that? What does that mean? He means put me down. He means cut me loose. Oh man, where am I at? Did we lose the game already? I lost the game just then. Oh man, and Link can't live through that. You know how much, you know, because the whole can't swim thing, even though it's a land full with water, he can't swim. Link, Link, wake up, Link. Pull yourself together, Link. If you can't tell, I'm putting more, like, bass in my voice. Where am I? I'm on a boat. I'm on a Yoshi. I mean, <laughs> well, have you come to your senses yet? You're surprisingly dull with it. Did that boat just talk? <laughs> he just laughed. Did I startle you? That was terrible. That sounded like a redneck. Now, um, I suppose that is the only natural thing. As why, as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of a man. I am the king of red lines, or Carl, as I like to call him. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Link. I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fiercely stand up to anything, but such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is Ganon. He who attain the power of the gods attempt to cover the land in darkness and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganning, the emperor of the dark realm the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Link, do you still wish to save your sister from him? Duh. <laughs> and will you do anything to save her? It depends, because I've got some crazy requests, man. I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go for it, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Oh, so basically, you're going to be my mom. Thank you. Uh, Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I, indeed I, I am indeed a boat, 
dyslexia that possesses no that possesses the power of speech. I possess no sail. So what? You lost your manhood? And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. Yep, he lost his manhood. Don't worry, I've been there. I screamed like a little girl. <laughs> I have brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the forsaken fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, I'm sure you'll find one who can sell you a sail. I'm sorry to ask you this, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. The Islands of Merchants is home to many valuable goods. The information they provide you may come in handy during your endeavors at sea. So listen carefully to their words and heed them well. But remember, there is no time for play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. And with that, this unbelievably long 20 minute video is done. So, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, you can do that stuff. But, um, pff, I forgot the other stuff I was supposed to say first. So, so let's insulate it. <laughs> um, if you like my stuff, why not comment, favorite, you know, that stuff. And I already said subscribe, so I don't need to say it twice. Um, follow my channel, my Twitter, if you like to do the things. And when we come back, we'll be exploring some of Windfall Island. And it's just amazing, uh, like, island music. All right, but anyway, I'm enough scatting. This has been Retro Gamer signing out.